name is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is God Makes a Way, The Parting of the Sea, and the Ten Commandments. Let's read. We have to update. I everything forgot. Forget to update. After Paro's sons died, the ten fled. He let the Israel live. They were near the Red Sea. When Paro changed his mind again and chased after them. So Paro's son died. So like he said, it's okay. You can go now. Serve God. Go far away. And like again, Parrot changed his mind and changed it them again. We have found the Bible then. Patient. You can see the army. When the Israel saw Paros church, they were terrified, but God told Moses to raise his staff toward the Red Sea. God sent a strong wind to part the sea. So when Israel saw Paro, like they were terrified, like they was like thinking, why did you take us here and make us die? And like, God said to raise Moses off, and the Red Sea was parted into the half. So it made the way. A dry part of, and the Israel were walked straight through the Red Sea. There was a smooth, there was a wall of water on each side of them. They arrived safe, safely on the other side. Wow, well, that is so wonderful thing. I also want to enter that place, but like, they will be like surprised and also they will worry because like the Paro's army is there. Like you can see the fish. They're so beautiful. Wonderful. I found the Bible then. Golden lamp paste. Lamp stand. Paro and his army followed them into the sea. God told Moses to stretch out his hand. The red, the sea rolled, the, rolled back again. And Paro and his army was thrown. So Paro and his army followed them. But God, after Israel has come over, all God told Moses again to stretch his stretch out his hand, and again God sent the. Big wind, and they were a goal. The Emperor's army were all drooled. <laughs> Question Paro and his army chased the Israel and captured them again in the Red Sea. No, false. Like, Paro's army has all drowned. God led his people through the wildness. He fed, he fed them and gave them water. They camped at a mats in night. Where God told Moses to meet 
camp on the mountain top. So God led the people and also God fed them. And God said to Moses to lead them on the mountain top. Like you can see that thing. Here, these are called manna. God has fed them with these things, and don't move. <laughs> and also, like, oh, where is it? So, like, God has fed them with manna. Surrounded by fire and smoke, Moses climbed to the top, and God came down to meet him. So, like, it was all surrounded by fire. There's so many fires and smokes. Moses to meet them, number one, mountain top. Sorry. Then God gave Moses the Ten Commandments on the two stone table. Don't worship other gods, don't make idols, treat my name with respect. Treat the Sabbath day as a special day. So God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. Like in the Ten Commandments, there were like so many things written. Uh, that was ten things that we must do. Respect your parents, don't mother belong to your husband or wife. Don't steal, don't lie, don't envy people or what they own. Know the people know how to obey God. Uh, now the people knew how to obey God. So God gave Moses the Ten Commandments because to, to like how to know that how to obey God. Like they have to obey God, right? Well, like some persons didn't know how to obey God. So the Ten Commandments. There is what you have to do. Question Did the Ten Commandments tell the Israel how to obey God? Yes. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another great story? <laughs> yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another great story? Then let's bye.